Gun Zul. Yes, he's got a name tag on his armor there. Did your mommy sew that in, huh? I feel that if I focused my mind, my power could be increased a little bit. Hmm, coin. Ah, an orcish sword. Interesting. This is a sight better than the Imperial trash. Ah, Rendar shall use. Ah, Book of Riddles, I like it. Yes, let us see. For earnest pleasure and the strengthening of the mind, the author here collects all that he's learned of the art of riddling by dint of diligent study and through years of discourse with others of similar inclination. Posing and puzzling of riddles is a convention of polite arist aristocratic Western society. Nobles and social aspirants collect books of riddles and study them, hoping thereby to increase the chances of their appearing sly and witty in conversation. A metal neither black nor red, as heavy as a man's golden greed, what do you stay ahead with a friend or arrow or steed? What do you stay ahead? Hmm. The answer is lead. Okay. Well, let's figure out why that is. As heavy as a man's golden greed. Yes, lead's quite heavy. It is neither black nor red. It is silver. What do you stay ahead with a friend or arrow or steed? I don't understand the last part. Hmm. A man says... If you lie to me, I will slay you with my sword. If you tell me the truth, I will slay you with a spell. What must you say to stay alive? Ah. Uh, that's like the, the, the riddle with the doors, you know? The door says one of us is telling the truth and the other one is always lies. And whichever one said that, that's the door you have to pick because he has to tell the truth about the rules of the game, yes? I don't know the answer to this one either. You will slay me with a sword. Hmm. You tell me the truth, I will slay you with a sword. If you tell me the truth, I will slay you with a spell. What must you say to stay alive? You will slay me with a sword. Hmm. I'm not getting this. Perhaps my mind does require a slight rest, huh? A Bosmer was slain. The Altmer claims the Dunmer is guilty. The Dunmer says the Khajiit did it. The Orc swears he didn't kill the Bosmer. The Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying. If only of one of these speaks the truth, who killed the Bosmer? Well, I just know it's not the Khajiit, hmm? <laughs> uh, it's probably the Dunmer. The answer is the Orc. Hmm. The Orc swears he didn't kill the Bosmer. The Dunmer's lying. If only one of these speaks the truth, who killed the Bosmer? The orc. But the orc's telling the truth and says he didn't kill the Bosmer. Ah, I don't like this book. Away from me. Ancestors and the Dunmer. Ooh. Wind's shifting. Perhaps we should carry on, huh? Hello? There's someone there. Oh. No, 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 no. Nobody here. I did not expect there to be another one. But it is as I said, friends. You can never be too careful. Alright. Wait for him to take his post again. Time to end this little game. Oh. Close no this. Oh. He's quite a powerful one. That orc stick, that uh, s that arrow sticks in his chest, and uh, he does not seem to be phased by it. Yes, go ahead and block that, huh? Can you block it? Bet you can't. I shall, my friend. How's this? Little more? You like that? Ah, oh, Brandar's over here now. Ah ha ha! Ah! 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 I'm on the edge now. But so is he from the looks of it. Yes, yeah, some healing shall help me. Hello there. Lovely to see you. There you go! Ha! Find the opening! Ah! 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 
Hmm. He did split me open quite a little bit, but uh... Nothing that we can't handle, I promise you that. Now what have you for me? Ah... The vault key! Yes, this is better than breaking all of my lockpicks, isn't it? And I happen to know exactly where it is, because I picked my way in from the bottom to the top. And I rather like that, you know? Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're mother mm, here. Yes? You understand? Me either so much. But it's a good song, I think if you uh, put it to rhyme, then people will enjoy. Ah, this one seems to have uh, read quite a little bit. I'm proud of this orc. He surprises me. Let us see what he keeps in his chest, huh? Arrows? Iron gauntlets, ah... Uh, I don't like the heavy armor, but it fetch a good price. Iron helmet? No, junk. Yams? Uh, maybe I can cook. Some ore? A fish? Why you keep a fish? Ah... Alchemical regions? That much I do like. Lots and lots of ore. Hmm... I suppose it makes sense. He is a smith of sorts, you know. I shall leave all of this... Ah! Sword of Cold. Is this better than the Orcus Sword? Only while it has enchantment on it. Hmm... And I think the rest shall stay. Now we can go have a look. Code of Malakan. Hmm, a sellsword's guide to the orc's strongholds. No one bests an orc. I don't need you to guess how many times I've heard that boast in some dingy tavern or screamed at the top of the lungs by some fellow sellsword with too much fire in him, but I'd be lying if I said the orc's strongholds don't take those words as law. There are few places where Miss Alelia would tell you that tradition and the old ways makes for a better fighter, but with orcs it seems like staying true to your ancestors is the path to victory. Let me start a few steps back. The orc strongholds have existed as long as the orc race have. According to them, their armored camps in the least and fortresses at the most. Every man, woman and child inside the walls is trained from birth to defend it. All their weapons and armor are smithed right there in the stronghold. All the food is hunted down by orc warriors and brought back to be eaten by everyone who lives there. They follow the no laws save for their own, an unwritten set of rules called the Code of Malakath, named after one of their gods who is sometimes called Moloch. Most of it's pretty simple, don't steal, don't kill, don't attack people for no reason, although there seems to be a very big list of exceptions, and Brandar seems to be on it. Orcs in the stronghold don't have jails for their criminals, they have blood price. You either pay in enough in goods for your crimes, or you bleed enough that the victim is satisfied. And orcs, I don't need to tell you, have a lot of blood. The code also sets up who runs the stronghold. The toughest male is usually, usually the chief and makes decisions and decides when the code of Malakath has been satisfied. All the women are either the chief wives or his daughters, with the exception of the wise woman who handles all the spiritual matters and healing needs. Matters of grave dispute are handled with short but violent fights. And those who don't get along with the chief are usually forced out of the stronghold to live among the rest of us. An orc grows up being told to fight for everything. That if something is not worth fighting for, it is beneath the code. Well, I think I would not get along with the chief either if all the women were his wife. Leave uh, a few for Brandar, hmm? Why not? Anyways, orc strongholds don't like strangers, used to living on their own like they do. Miss Alilia knows what she does because many orcs leave the strongholds to become sellswords or soldiers and a few pints of mead gets them talking about home. I hear that sometimes an orc will make a non-orc a bloodkin and that person is then allowed to live in the stronghold as one of the clan but I've never actually heard of that happening. F or seen it happening because you just said you heard about it. Never mind. For all the strange rules and traditions, the Code of Malkant does breed a culture of determined warriors. They're focused in ways that the average sellsword is not. They don't hesitate to draw weapons and set their maddlers openly. But I think that's the real difference between the stronghold orcs and the city orcs. Imperial law allows you to settle fights through the Empire's men, but the Code of Malkant 
demands that you settle your problems yourself. A fine way of thinking if you're leading the mercenary's life. Well, it sounds like a good thing in in practice. In theory, but in practice, uh, you can see that it did not turn out so well. Did it? Did it, you silly man? Gunzul. Yes, he's got a name tag on his armor there. Did your mommy sew that in, huh? One of the uh, wives or daughters? Ah. Push button. Very nice. Before they come back up. Maybe they will not come back up. Oh my. We must be careful. Headed into the vaults, are we? <sighs> Ooh. Sounds like something down there. Let me focus my mind for just a moment, huh? Mm. Yes. Let us become a bit stronger. I rather like that. Ah. And now, my one-handed weapons can do a, a bit more damage. It is a helpful thing. You always want to be putting out more damage than your opponent. And so we shall. Ah, they seem to have a good uh, stock of food down here. Perhaps Brandar shall stop for a bite. Once we get this place cleared out, of course. Hmm, just some spider eggs. I would like to have a look in there. I see a coin purse. Ah, but Brandar cannot reach. Hmm, perhaps there is a button to push for all of these things, hmm? Is this the one? How did that do? Nothing back here. One more? Is that going to work? Hmm. Ah, this is the button. Piece of cake, huh? Ah, Brandar's eye should have caught that, I think. But as long as uh, we get it in the end, I suppose it doesn't matter. Be a little smarter for the next time. Hmm, healing. Got some weapons here. Hmm. Many goods, yes. I take these things. Lost legends. Hmm. Interesting. I shall bring with me. There's much to start to search in these vaults. Hmm. So many sacks around, huh? This is where they keep all the food, I think. Battle axe, yes. I take some of this. Can I look in here? Juniper berries, oh. I shall bring this to Raloff, he shall be so happy. Another pelt for Brandar. Surely we shall find someone to buy all of these goods. These animal goods, hmm? Rislav the Righteous. Hmm. Once we get back to the inn, we shall have quite a bit of reading to do, I think. Iron armor. Hmm. Animal skulls. Hide helmet. Yes, this is not as, uh, not as packed as the other. Oh my. Oh, it is just a battle axe. <laughs> Scared Brandar just a little bit there. Hmm. Another potion? I take. How about this chest? What do you have? Lockpicks. I always like lockpicks. Lockpicks in a chest usually leads to uh, better things in another chest. A chest helping me to open the chest, open more chests. Oh, yes. I'm glad I didn't rush too far forward on that one, huh? Activate this. Okay, are we done? One more to go. Ay, ay, ay. 
They tried to keep this quite secure, did they not? Too bad it does not work. Brandar has a keen eye. Here. Ah! Surely I shall use all of the lockpicks on this. Come now, come now. There we are. Quite a difficult one it was. And we shall replace the lockpicks. Not much else in here, I think. Up. Oh my! Oh. Do be careful. <laughs> oh my. This is quite a dangerous place. So many traps. Would have thunk it. Alright. And here we are. Shard of Merun's Razor. Well, it seems to have missed Brandar. And we got the razor. So that's uh, a fine thing. Let us be on our way out of here. I can only wonder what this uh, Merun's Razor is. What does it mean? Hmm. I shall keep it in my pack for now. I'm sure it shall find uh, some sort of use. And let us go out the front door. Here we are. Hmm. And now it is night time. Well, I suppose I should retire for now. We'll get started again in the morning. There are many warm beds here, and uh, I see no reason not to sleep here. Unless a, uh, a band is out on the hunt or something. Good night, Gunzul! Good night! <laughs> I'll see you in the morning, friends. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.